Okay, I figured out what was confusing me earlier. Um, when I was dealing with this first button right here, check current answer, it it was dealing with this function, check answer. And I got to this part that confused me. Um, it was asking a set of ifs. Uh, I guess for error checking and what it originally said is if results dot if results value does not equal empty but what it should have been is if your choice dot value is equal to empty my choice being this answer right here um, again if I highlight your choice it should take me down to this text box right here at the bottom. And right here where it says answer on the left and in that ta table data to the right, your choice, this. So when I hit a question and let's say I put nothing because that's what that that's what this should have said. The if question should have said if form dot your choice dot value is equal to empty and you hit check current answer. Yes, this is right. Sorry, no guessing allowed. In order to retry this question, you will have to start the quiz over. Click next question to continue. So when I click next question, it's going to give me a zero it's going to put me on the second question. Now let's do the what was the name of the sea that Moses parted? It was the Red Sea. So then I put in A and I check current answer. Congratulations, you are correct. That brings your cumulative score to one out of a possible two. So now one out of two is 50 percent and 50% is an F. So now it's working correctly. The code that I wound up getting from uh, the web or the internet a few years ago, I guess I didn't go over with a fine tooth comb. And when you're trying to make a video at the same time that you're trying to understand code, especially if you didn't write it yourself, and even sometimes if you did write it yourself, uh, sometimes it's hard to see it until you actually re-watch your video and then it's like, oh God, okay. So by changing that if condition to form.yourchoice.value equals nothing, that's giving us um, some error trapping because when you're taking a quiz, you're not supposed to hit a button to check an answer if you left it empty. So you get no points, but you also get the message down here. No, you're not allowed to guess. You got to give us an answer. So that's basically what I wanted to show that I, I figured out what I didn't understand at the same time I was making the video earlier. But now it all makes sense.